So the one thing about moving to Houston, Texas, it can definitely be overwhelming. You know, I've done it twice. So finding that perfect area, perfect place to live can be difficult. This place is huge. So what I want to do is I'm going to bring up the actual map. I'm going to be showing you all these different areas. So by the end of this video, now you'll get a good visual rep, uh, representation. You'll see how far things are from each other and you'll know, okay, this area is for me. That area is not for me. And so by going through this entire map, the entire tour and talking about what you get in these different areas, you'll know at least a great spot for you to start or that we can help you to narrow in on. So we're going to be getting after it right now. What's up everybody this is Jackson Wilkie with the Real Agent Now group right here in Houston Texas if this is your first time to this channel and you want to learn everything about what it's like to work eat sleep live play right here in Houston make sure you tap that subscribe button and you click the little bell so you're notified every time we do a new video and we are honestly getting phone calls emails texts every single day from people moving and relocating here and we absolutely love it so if you're thinking about moving anywhere in the Houston area make sure you give us a call shoot us a text send us an email days nights weekends we got your back with moving to Houston, Texas. Okay, so yes, I'm going to go through the map and show you. Now, I've done some other videos where, um, you know, I really talk about the, the, these certain areas, but now I'm going to jump into the map and really showcase you. You're going to be surprised how far away things can be sometimes. So moving to Houston is all about location and lifestyle. What do you like to do? What do you need to be close to? Where are you working? You do not want to live on the east side over kind of where I'm at and work on the west side in Katy. It's going to take you an hour, hour and a half every single day just to get there, not including the drive back. So Houston is too big for that. Let's jump into the map and really show you all these different communities, master plan communities, acreage estates, you name it. So we'll jump over to the map. And first thing you can see here, you know, we got we got Houston popping right here. It's huge. Okay. So the actual like living downtown Houston, it's if you hear it, a lot of times there's Edo, like East downtown, there's a bunch of um, it's funny because it's kind of south to me, but you have all of the new condos and everything that are going to be just below uh, the 610 loop right around it. And so this is kind of where the stadiums and everything are. And that's just really like the downtown Houston living until you get more like this west side, this is going to be predominantly more expensive so you have west u i've done a full vlog tour on this if you like bigger homes five eight thousand square foot um, in a really nice neighborhood top school districts next to colleges next to the zoo really close to downtown houston um, you're next to the galleria shopping west u is going to be the place you want to be um, and if you really want the luxury the most expensive is going to be um, river oaks this is the river oaks private country club so anywhere in these areas you know, you're by a bunch of the hospitals, um, you're by all shops, restaurants, bars, the Galleria, you really have everything in this area. Um, and River Oaks is 10, 15, 20,000 square foot houses, um, you know, the private golf course, it's, it's really exquisite living. If you are, I want walkability. My number one goal is I want to either get off of work, get home, or I want to, you know, work from home and be able to walk around the corner to like independent shops, restaurants, bar, coffee shops funky shops um the the houston heights this is this you know whole area in here um is going to be the heights so you will have i did a full vlog tour on this as well so you see the 20th um, 19th this is going to be an area you have shepherd um you have heights boulevard all of these right here are going to have all of your different shops restaurants bars and there's living, just one-off living, all these. It's bungalow style, really tight living, but incredible homes. If that's your style, go watch uh, the vlog I did on that. So I don't want to spend too much time inside the loop, inner loop living. But, you know, walkability, like northeast, southeast Portland, Oregon. I, I, I lived over there for a couple of years. The Heights really reminds me of that. It's just endless things to do. And then more of this uptown area um, from Bel Air, Westview. This is going to be more high-end luxury living. Okay, so we'll just start north. 
Um, and then we'll work, work just around the clock here. So the farthest north, you know, if we're still considering Houston is going to be kind of this Conroe area. And this is Lake Conroe. So boatable, fishable. There's golf courses all around it. If you're looking for a master plan community, you want to be up north. You don't need to be down into, you know, Houston or, you know, to the west side. And you like trees, you like nature, you like acreage, all that stuff. Conroe is going to be an incredible option for you. And there is one of the sneakiest, best uh, master plan communities. One that I was thinking about uh, really heavily called Wood Forest. Um, it's got its own golf course, really beautiful. Trees everywhere, uh, parks, na nature hiking trails, fishing lakes, and it's got this freaking like 100 and, I don't even know if it's 100 feet, 80 foot tall water slide. So huge community center with Olympic sized pools and splash pads and water slides. So it is something that you would definitely want to look into if you don't need to travel down south or out to the west. And then it puts you right here to Lake Conroe. If you want to, you know, get that pontoon boat, fishing boat, or the the wake surfing boat, that's going to be an incredible option for you if you want master plan. But other than that, you're going to find acreage estates all over out in here um, in these areas. So um, coming in, this is one of the most popular and probably one of the nicest just overall master plan communities, the woodlands. Um, now, inside the woodlands, let, let me mention one thing real quick. There's over 115 master plan communities in the Houston metro. So you can't cover all of them. And like the woodlands is one master plan community. But inside of it, you'll see so many different master plan communities and neighborhoods. And it is plum full of golf courses and beautiful. Watch our video we did on the, on the, on the woodlands. They built this back in the 70s. You actually take the 45 and you drop into here, into the woodlands parkway. So it's really um isolated um from from anything you can't really get in there except for this road here so once you're in here it's very private very treed you don't see any houses or buildings until you actually drive in there so their whole goal was to make this just the woodlands like you're in this wooded paradise it has probably you know some of the best shopping that you'll find um if i know like my wife if she wants to hit up the lululemons or do any shopping she's going to the woodlands um they have the mall the indoor mall and they have an outdoor mall um, there's so much to do really the woodlands is the one spot i mean there's there's a lot of great ones but it's an area that you would never have to leave um, if you didn't have to leave for work or whatever you have the actual lake lake woodlands you can paddleboard on this there's condo living on the river you have its own river row restaurants shops bars there's ice skating rinks there's malls there's golf courses galore in some of the top schools in houston so the woodlands is just a, a real big win um, all the way around so what we'll do is we'll kind of go counterclockwise if I if I zoom out so you can really get reference. The thing about like the woodlands, you know, if you're going to be working uh, in Galveston per se, and you're like, but I really like the woodlands. It's it's my jam, you know. I'm going to just show you, you know, if you're working down at the plants or something. This is why you wouldn't, you know, hour and a half. And that's with no traffic right now, zero. So you hit traffic, you're going to be two hours away from you know, getting down into some of these areas where all the plants and stuff are. So um, we'll move that. One of the fastest growing areas um, is Spring. Spring Klein, you hear, um, it's like Spring Klein area, Spring Klein schools. I just did a full vlog tour on this. It's right here. Here's Klein Spring. So it's kind of this whole entire area. And it has, if you like the really cool, quaint little downtown shopping centers uh, and the community gets together, spring old town spring which is right in here um let's see yeah it's right in here that i again i vlogged that you can go see that you have old town spring it, it's separated by the, the toll road and 45 out to the west out to the east there's new construction going in these areas like crazy and it will be some of your most affordable living and the benefit is you're only 15 minutes from the woodland shopping. You're 20 minutes from downtown Houston. So actually location wise, it's really um, beneficial. So one of the areas too, again, I want to talk about if you're going to stretch that dollar and you don't need to be close. Tomball has a lot of acreage um, estates. This is more like your farm community. Um, you know, again, real tight knit. There's three high school. There's a brand new high school there. You're going to see all of the lighting festivals. Like Tomball's a very tight knit community where you're going to know your neighbors, but you get space a lot. And if you want master plan communities, there's a couple of them off the, the 249 up here that puts you a little bit farther north. 
we vlog that as well on our Tomball vlog. And so you're talking in the $300,000 range, you can get huge, like three, 4,000 square foot homes. So it's brand new developments off the 249. And this 249 is all brand new and super wide. So it is haul ass to get down to down. I mean, you can get from Tomball now with the 249. Um, going all the way into like the 45, you can get into downtown Houston, probably 30 minutes, 25 minutes. So Tomball is a, a great area. Tomball borders Cypress. So we did Cypress. This is by far my sneakiest, best area. I didn't even know this place existed until I came back the second time and, and got in here. They have multiple master plan communities. And this puts you right next to Katy. It puts you 20 minutes from downtown Houston. You have some of the biggest... Um, shopping malls and you have what am i thinking of the outlet mall 165 outlets but they have master plan communities out here which my favorite master plan community um to this day is town lake and so just to type it in so you guys can see it it's right in here this is um you can see cypress up here town lake if you've watched our video, you already know, but this is one of the only boatable lakes in Houston that's not Lake Houston, Lake Livingston, or uh, Lake, uh, or uh, yeah, Lake Houston. So with that being said, you can have your pontoon boats here. You, you cruise in, you can kind of see the picture up here. You have all of this shopping right here. And across from that is a white sandy beach and you have um, a floating lazy river. You have water parks, tennis courts, soccer fields, basketball court, like everything you need plus like an 18,000 square foot community center um it really has everything um and and location is you almost can't get better if you wanted to be close to either downtown houston or the, the energy corridor west you know the the hospitals all that stuff cyprus is one of the fastest growing um in the nation as well so this this place cyprus is just hands down one of one of the coolest areas there's bridgeland in there that's a little bit more affordable than town lake yet you're right across the street so you can still use it you can still go to those shopping centers um so coming down katie katie's probably one of the most popular everybody knows katie texas i mean there's like houston and then you know out west is katie i remember back in like 08 this thing was really starting to grow like driving out there was the middle of nowhere and so cinco ranch really took off there's probably 20 plus master plan communities in katie alone you're gonna have some of the top schools they even have a high school over there with like a $70 million football stadium. So sports are huge and um, and just schools are really good. But the one thing I didn't like about Katy, kind of like, you know, being in the woodlands, like once you're out here, you're really far away from downtown Houston. I mean, this is this can be, you know, if you're in Cinco Ranch, just getting up to the freeway and then all the way in with no traffic, you know, it's like 45, 50 minutes. So the thing about it, it's a can't miss. You're going to have all your shops. You have giant water parks. You have uh, the good schools and you have these these uh, master plan communities like Cinco Ranch where you're, you're going to instantly just get in, meet a lot of people really quickly. You're going to have a lot of fun in the neighborhoods. There's so many like community events. I have a lot of friends living over there. And um, really, again, these master plan communities in, in some of these suburbs, a lot of them just are, are very similar. It's just location. Again, that's why I'm doing this. But um, obviously the... Um, <clears throat> energy corridor and stuff out here that, that's why everybody's moving out here super high paying jobs top school districts and with these master plan communities and the prices like it's it's affordable in in uh cinco ranch katie area i mean if you were going to spend four or five hundred thousand dollars you're going to get a monster five six bedroom home with a pool in the backyard so that's um awesome the one that's out the farthest is cross creek ranch so you can really spread that dollar again if you don't need to be into downtown houston or anything this one is gorgeous um they got all the, the lakes and stuff so you're going to be able to walk along all these you can see the pictures there i mean it's just it's it's gorgeous so again you, you zoom in look at there's like i mean 20 30 different master plan communities in here alone but cinco ranch is definitely the main one so another area now heading down to the southwest to explain this right in between katie and Sugarland. Sugarland is um, the fastest. It's like one of the top five fastest growing cities in the entire United States. Um, it has the most diversity. So we're seeing a lot of high paying jobs and tech jobs down in this area. And it is exploding with growth. So 
really, really top end uh, master plan communities and Sugarland. It's really quick drive right into um, downtown Houston or, you know, to the hospitals or to the west side, to the energy corridor. So Sugarland has a couple of these really top end master plan communities, but some of them that don't get talked about a lot are in between Katy and, uh, and Sugarland. So if I zoom in, you have this Richmond area. This is an area that, that kind of posts, uh, post, hosts a couple of the really nice ones. New Territory is one of them. Absolutely gorgeous. And the one thing you get down in the southwest part of Houston is a lot of water. You're going to have water, lakes, ponds in all of these developments. So it makes for really pretty um, you know, walking, but they have a lot of lake living. So I mean, you can go out and fish right on these little ponds and you'll see this all over. And New Territory is one of those. The other one, this is one of the top rated is Aliana. So I think I'm saying that right. It's the way I say it. If you look that up, these both have, um, I think it's the Fort Bend ISD. I could be wrong on that, but they're both 10 out of 10 on schools. So any of these areas, um, and I know Katie has incredible schools, but these ones are going to be ranked some of the, or, or probably the best um, in Houston is any of these Sugarland, uh, Aliana, all these. So you're going to get way more affordability in the new territory and Aliana, um, but yet you're 15 minutes from the downtown Sugarland. So they have a big town center down here. All of your restaurants and, and functions, they play music down there. So it's really cool that you you have all that. So if you're really into like schools, even like diversity and, and, and spreading, the, you know, getting a really nice home in a safe area. A lot of these two, these master plan communities are patrolled by private, you know, um, police officers and stuff. So they're very safe as well. Sugarlands is a camp. Man. I was so blown away down there at some of those, um, some of the master plan communities down here. Now we've logged all this and we came in here to university um, and hit Riverstone. Riverstone's gorgeous. And they got the biggest um, tennis courts and uh, they got giant slides at the pool really cool area and there's areas in here that you can get like an acre or one and a half acres and still be in that master plan community uh minutes away from all the shopping but just know when you're in here like yes here's the main shopping of sugarland but this university uh, boulevard the whole thing the whole entire way is all of your um targets home depots tons and tons of restaurants so there's a lot to do um even if you're not right next to the sugarland area so can't say enough good about Sugarland, and then the most popular one, this Fort Bend Tollway ends right here. This is all Sienna Plantation, so um, it it's huge. It just spreads all of this. Now you're going to have a ton of really good golf courses in here. All of this is the top school districts. It's just kind of like you need to drive through it, a couple of these with us when we tour them, and and you'd be like, okay, I like this master plan community. I don't like that one. So it's the area. If you if you're going to be in the southwest, this whole Sugarland um area is going to be really really nice and then the farther you go out west southwest the, the cheaper it gets so richmond areas and stuff like that so now heading just straight south you have the pearland and friendswood areas i don't spend too much time in this, these areas um i know and have some good friends who live in these areas because again they're really good school districts and it's a little bit more affordable but they're just there isn't as much going on down here for for me um and so I don't spend a lot of time down in these areas. I need to go shoot some videos on them. And I, there's nothing wrong. I, in fact, I hear, yeah, like I said, some of the best school districts too are, are down in here. So um, they are, this is a really good area. And there's a lot of really good um, uh, country clubs and golf courses and stuff down in here as well. But I was blown away because it wasn't here when I lived here back in 09 to 2012. If you come down here, you're going to see... Um, the Tanger Outlet. So there's a huge outlet right here, and there's a Bucky's. And if you don't know anything about Bucky's, you need to learn about Bucky's. It's the single greatest ginormous gas station uh, ever, but it sells just about anything. Right down here is Lago Mar. This is the biggest walk in um, lagoon in the state of Texas. Super affordable, giant custom homes because you're south now. And this was an area that was just nothing. And now you drive along the 45 and you see this thing and, oh man, like that, that, that lagoon. So now you have really good, um, uh, lagoons, everything to do and good schools and everything. So it's really starting to blow up as a lot of people work, you know, these plants and, and the, and, uh, the energy, you know, down South here, it puts you just 15 minutes from Galveston too, which is just awesome. And when I lived here the first time, um, 
I was in this League City Dickinson area, and so not much, very affordable. I loved it because you were like, where I lived was like right in here. I was one mile to the coast here, so I could hit up like Bay Cliff in these areas, and I could be fishing, you know, right off the coast. Or I had buddies who had boats. We'd go out and, you know, and fish these for redfish and speckled trout and whatever. So uh, 15 minutes away, my microphone keeps creeping, 15 minutes away from, from Galveston. I just, it was really cool. We came back and looked at it again the second time. It was just a little you know, outdated. Now we got three kids before we didn't have any. And, um, I do, you know, this whole clear Lake area and stuff, it's really starting to clean up and nice. And now I was surprised there's a lot of new construction and, um, master plan communities up in this area, North of league city that I grew up in. So really it's going to be your, probably your most affordable, still safe and good schools is going to be this whole kind of like Southern area of league city Dickinson and like a Dickinson high school is really nice. I remember, we lived right by it and here in the football games and stuff. Um, there's been some players coming out of there too. So if you're in this Southern area, it's kind of that ultimate lifestyle. If you like being close to water and fishing and, and all that kind of stuff, it's just, it's really, it's, it's a fun area for all of that. So um, coming up where I currently reside, you know, th this whole area, again, I don't spend really any time. If you drive, you know, these, this is a lot of, you know, industry and stuff over in here. There are some you know, neighborhoods, you know, in inside here, but the other most popular area is this Northeast section that I refer to as a lot, you know, and it's where I currently live is the, you know, humble Atascacita area. So coming up here, Atascacita and humble and Kingwood, they're all basically their own, you know, Kingwood's like one giant master plan community. The reason I like this area is it's just so treed. It's kind of older huge pine trees like giant you know out west it's real flat like um obviously all of it's flat here but um it's just it's more like deserty almost looking sometimes when you get out far west this is east texas you know so it's like yeah we have the lake you can go fishing on this wake you know my, my neighbor's got a wake surf boat and we cruise on the lake you can take this lake and you can hit the sand jack they call it san jacinto all the way down into Kima, you know into here into the bays so like you have Lake Houston. You got really cool golf courses all over in here. Kingwood is um, a little bit more expensive. It's really, really treated. It's a lot like the Woodlands, and you have all of the shopping and restaurants and stuff that you need, plus really cool golf courses right on the water. This golf course is just sick right here. There's a bunch of shops right here um, that are on the river as well. So you're going to be can't miss, you know, with the schools, Kingwood area for sure. Tascacita, it's kind of giving it away where I'm at. I'm I like living right on the lake. It's, it's it's a lot of fun. Golf course community. I ride the golf cart everywhere. I get to take my kids to school in a golf cart. Like you drive right into the freaking lawn there. It's it's a really cool community. But the most popular that we're seeing in um in this area is exploding is the groves. And it is again, it's like a wooded forest style. It's right here. Um and so you're right by the lake and you get this incredible Oops, that's the wrong one. <laughs> Took me over to Beaumont. Anyways, it's right in here. The Groves is this brand new area right here. You, you drive to it and it's huge trees, outdoor nature parks, hiking. And so um, that's going to be brand new living. There's master plan communities all over in this humble Atascacita area. So if you need to be, you know, anywhere, this northern area, even working downtown, it's only 25 minutes to get down there. So the cool part is too, this beltway for some reason right here is the only spot you don't have to pay to drive it. And so anytime I come down and hit this, you can use it for free actually until you get around to some of these areas. So, and then there's one other brand new master plan community coming up here. It's called Balmoral. Um, it, it has a giant lagoon as well. So these lagoons are really starting to become popular. Again, you'll be up in that Northeast section. You have this walk-in lagoon crystal clear that you can swim in, play in. So really cool um, and, and great schools all the way around here. There are just nature parks and green parks everywhere on this northeast side because of this. You have um, uh, Lake Houston Wilderness Park. Again, all national forest. You can hike this stuff. There's like camping in here. You just, it's real, um, you know, there's a lot of nature and, and cool trails and hiking and stuff over here. Um, so in general, like I said, I mean, if you're going, you really need to focus on location. You can see how on the map, it just doesn't look too far like Katy to Houston, but man, that could be an hour sometimes um, for sure. And so really getting close to what you need is going to be important for you and your relocation here to Houston. 
And I can't stress that enough as I've done it a few times and now we're helping dozens and dozens of clients and it's just, okay, let's get on the Zoom call. Let's figure out exactly what your, your lifestyle is, maybe where you're working, um, what your um, styles of home or styles of living. Maybe you want acreage. Maybe you want condos. Maybe you want, you know, the Galleria area downtown. You want like luxury condos and, and um, no yard, nothing to take care of. We just need to figure out what your lifestyle is. And then we can go, oh, yeah, we've got a place that, that fits that exact thing. So a lot of it you won't know until you actually reach out and we have those conversations that we love having. So the only way we can help you is you've got to reach out. you got to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, days, nights, weekends. We got your back with moving to Houston, Texas. And until our next video, guys, we'll catch you later.